Hello everyone, welcome back to the Catholic Gamer Dude Plays Prison Architect. We are going to move on to our next uh, grant here. What do we got to do? We got to unlock, uh, let's see, ma maintenance, cleaning, and groundskeeping. Maintenance. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So I got to hire, uh, I got to research how to do maintenance through the warden and then do cleaning and groundskeeping. Cool. And then, while that's being researched, let's go ahead and look at uh, uh, building a medical ward. Because our prisoners, they can get a little rough and tumble at times, and they're going to need someone to uh, clean up their boo-boos, you know, scrape knees, gunshots, you know, that sort of thing. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I can get a little rough and tumble here. So, while that is going on, let's see if we can build ourselves a medical ward. Now, this is when things start to get interesting because you do need to build this stuff, but at the same time, you don't want the, uh, you don't want the prisoners getting into this stuff because, you know, in the, uh, in these medical facilities, you can have things like, uh, drugs and other stuff like that. So you want to be sure that whatever you build, you got to hire a psychologist, and oh, that means I have to do research for the warden, so hire a psychologist for that. Oops. Oh, and they wiped out that wall. That's not cool. Uh, let's go ahead and build that back up. Uh, nope, 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 nope. I'm going to build that back up. Guys, you're a little too efficient in your destruction. There we go. Okay. So there's that, and let's see here. Let's add one more staff door just to kind of fill that out, and then we're going to add. And you need we need to unlock uh, the infirmary. So let's see. So our prisoners are eating. There a lot of people. Some people are pretty upset at the moment, mostly because these guys are uh, r running on no sleep whatsoever. And now they're all going to in lockup. So kind of settle down, and then they'll probably go to bed, which is great because they. Oh wow, the temp. Okay, so the temperature is going down. Excellent. So they're all going to bed, as you can see. Oh, I thought I, I thought I saw him with something. You. I found oh hacksaw. Oh my goodness. Wow. I. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That's what con that's a uh, contraband, one inmate in lockdown. Uh, see what I mean? You try to take care of all of their needs. Bunk beds. Huh. I'll have to go do some research on that. Little bins, build some trash bins here. Going to build some trash bins here, build some trash bins here. But as you can see, these good for nothing inmates or these ungrateful inmates, no matter how hard you work to try to um, help them out, they'll, uh, they're, they're, they'll stab you in the back, and they'll do all kinds of awful things, like, uh, 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 interestingly enough, okay, I will need, shoot, you know what, actually, I've changed my mind, I will probably need to build another office here, in order to complete this, so let's see, this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, uh, five, and that, and that and then we'll need to knock down this wall. We're gonna build one more office there, I believe. Yeah, mm -mm -mm. to get that. Okay, you guys build, 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 and then we'll need to put in a staff door there objects and then boom chair and then filing cabinet and utilities you need it uh no he's okay he's already wired up so and then on for that we'll build the medical ward here then we'll build another staff door here Okay. Ah! Get rid of that brick wall. I'll put one more staff door here. J 
just to be complete. And we're still waiting on the medical infirmary. Uh, oh, hell. Didn't see that there. I was going to wait even longer on that. Fabulous. But, now as you can see, everyone's uh, taking care of their health here. Get some hygiene going. So staff. Can I hire the psychologist yet? No. Uh, 19 minutes till we can hire the psychologist. I think we'll hire him first and then the maintenance guy. What are you complaining about? You need exercise. All right. So what you can do is this is when we need to start satisfying their needs. So we can do things like a good way to do it is during yard time. You can have a couple of phone booths so that they can do things like call their family and stuff like that. Weight benches so that they can work out. And uh, they'll need some time for some recreation as well. But, you know, for the most part. Uh, see, like these guys, they're heading off. They need exercise. So they're going to go use some of the weight benches. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, pump that iron. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Hey, you need alcohol? Sorry, dude. Not going to happen. But, as you can see with the staff, now we can hire a psychologist. We're going to put him in... Welcome aboard, Dr. Strangelove. And he can now give us one of the most important tabs, which is needs. And as you can see here, you can see all the different needs of our prisoners, from bladder bowels in terms of, you know, proper sanitation to food, exercise, family, which will be important, recreation, uh, you know, just goofing off and playing around and watching TV and stuff like that. And then... um. Some other stuff like drugs, alcohol, spirituality. Spirituality is interesting because that basically means that you can build a chapel. So that's good. Um, but uh, other things like, oh, that's interesting. Why is there a jail, jail door here in the middle of nowhere? Dismantle that. All right, uh, so. Oh yeah, oh yeah, got all kinds of guys pumping iron in. Okay, found a Polaroid. Awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, go back. Can we build our infirmary yet? No. What are you guys complaining about? Uh, you got a recreational need? Really? I mean, we all have recreational needs, but why are you guys about to riot over that? Uh, weird. Okay. It left their hands there, I guess, or something like that. That's weird. Okay, well, let's let them mill about for a bit. Uh, they need rec they need some uh, recreation type stuff. We're not going to provide that just yet. Um, but let's see here. What can we do? Okay, I think we just that dingling. That means we unlocked health. Okay, so now we can finally get started on the medical ward. All right, so we got our infirmary. Gonna build ourselves a couple of medical beds for the inevitable riots. And so, when you used to be able to play this game, you could basically keep it running on autopilot once you had all of their needs set up, and then you didn't have to do anything. Um, medical bed, hire at least two doctors. Staff, doctor, 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 doctor. Okay. So we've got the inmates, they're a little stuck at the moment, that's kind of weird. What are you guys doing? Okay. That's a little disturbing when they gather together like that, but we're gonna pretend that didn't happen for the moment. Uh, staff? No, bureaucracy. We have researched the, uh, for the foreman. So we're gonna go ahead, I should have done this earlier, but we're gonna build an office for him. And boom. And then chair. But doom. And then, oops, filing cabinet. But doom. See what else we got there. I saw that there was a new update that came out as mailroom shop. That's interesting. Uh, uh, prison. Uh, this, okay, there's some stuff like that. Dormitory. Variable size room for housing multiple prisoners. The bigger the dormitory, the more prisoners it can house. Interesting. Minimum size two threes. Surrounded by walls and doors. Indoors. Bed, bunk bed, and toilet. I'm going to have to look into that in a bit. But for right now, we've got all this stuff to take care of. And is that... Uh, okay, that is a door. So... Get ourselves an office. Hire ourselves a foreman. Alright. 
He requires an office, so he's just gonna sit there like a boob for a minute while he gets that in. Sweet. So now we got a foreman's office. We can start doing some research on cleaning, groundskeeping, and we'll eventually want to unlock prison labor, which is actually gonna make us a bit of cash. But for the moment, guys are just kind of sitting around. He's like, drugs, drugs. I totally want some drugs. Guys, do you have any drugs? Please tell me you have some drugs, huh? Do we use the drugs? Now, the reason why you can see these needs on the individual prisoners because we have the psychologist. So, he's comfort, but they're starting to really need some recreation. So, prison maintenance, staff are exhausted. Let's see. Go to grants. Uh, prison and maintenance, vegetation rights. Reform well education, staff well being. Um, reform through education. Vegetation rights. You know what? We're going to build it. Let's just go ahead and bite the bullet and build ourselves a common room real quick, and I can show you what we're talking about when it comes to uh, prisoner recreation, when we're not talking about, uh, you know, the yard. So let's go ahead and we'll add that. Add a couple of doors. It's kind of like, you know, how some campuses have a student center kind of thing. This is what we got. We got ourselves a common room. Rooms. And where is it? I can't see. Uh, let, we'll do a search terms. Common. Good. All right. So when these guys are done, building that out. What the heck? Okay, they're starting to get a little honorary about recreation. So we're going to have to step this up just a little bit. Objects. Then I'm going to do a pool table. A couple of pool tables, and then a couple of what? TVs? Yeah, so we can do a couple of TVs here. Just kind of cram it in there. It's not the most luxurious common room, but you know what? Whatever's. There we go. All right. These guys are starting to get really honorary. What is going on? What is uh? needs. Recreation being the biggest one. The environment they're starting to complain about because everything is a mess and that's because we're still working on hiring uh, cleaning and groundskeeping folks. But you know what? That makes sense in a way. Alright. Yeah, this place is definitely a mess. We need to definitely start getting down on that or else these guys are going to freak out. So recreation in the environment. Tomorrow will be a better day, boys. Trust me on this one. Okay, what did we just unlock? We unlocked cleaning, employment, uh, no, staff, janitors. Boys, get to work. There we go, finally some much needed cleaning to clean up all the messes and everything like that. Look at those guys work furiously. Look at this guy, He's, he is just going to town. All right. All right, so you need rec you need recreation, Duncan. I understand. We all need recreation, but you know what? Suck it up. Uh, let's see here. There's only one door. All right, things are finally starting to come down a little bit. These janitors are working their tails off, and uh, I need to hire a gardener. Staff. Uh, oh, we're waiting on the gardener. So there's that. So as you can see, the temperature is finally starting to go down on the prison because everybody's going to sleep, and you know. The cleaning is finally starting to happen. So look at that. They already took care of the canteen. Isn't that great? Still got a lot to take care of, but we're getting there. And, uh, and then they'll take care of their comfort needs when, or the recreation need. Look at that. That's pretty huge. Um, they'll take care of their recreation need when uh, they get their first free time block. We're eventually going to put them to work in a workshop, but for right now, the only thing these guys are doing is... Uh, living off of our dime, but that's all right. Uh, they're in luck up at the moment, you guys. Why don't you guys use your restrooms or something, you know what I mean? The hygiene, okay. Go in there, take your shower, this is their regimen. There you go, boys. It's like, I eat alcohol, man. Dude, come on, really? Okay, so now we got free time. So these guys are gonna go play pool. So we're going to do deployment. We're going to add one more guard. We're going to add a staff. Go grab another guard. And uh, as you can see... Oh, look at that. 
They're watching TV, isn't that great? We're playing some pool. It's a recreation. One of those guys desperately needs alcohol and literacy. Yes, you guys are just with your endless needs. But fortunately, our temperature is down to almost nothing. So. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like working out. Pump that iron. Pump that iron. Go, go, go. I guess Sue leaves her hands there. I'm pretty sure that's a bug. But that's funny stuff. So here we are. We have a pretty well functioning prison. We're making a little bit of cash. Not too much, though. Uh, we're going to change that once we start putting these guys to work. But. Overall, we're off to a great start, and actually, we're going to hire a couple of more guards just to uh, help things out. And, uh, oh, do we have staff? Can we hire a gardener? Can we hire a gardener? Yes, we can. <gasps> Grant complete. Yay! All right, so what are we going to do for our next round of uh, grants next time? Let's see what we can do. We can do, let's do cell block B, because we're going to do that, and then... Uh, We'll probably need staff well-being initiative because our staff members they rest they they work really hard and so they need a place where they can kind of you know kick off their heel uh, kick, kick what is it called i don't know anymore i'm tired too i need to rest i'm a prison architect where's my uh staff well-being initiative anyways thank you very much for joining me it's been that catholic gamer dude playing prison architect i love this game i hope you guys love this uh series so far i know i enjoy playing it and let me know in the comments if you want to keep seeing more. I usually do this for about a week and then wait for you guys to decide when I keep going. If you don't comment, silence equals consent, and we keep on rocking. So thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.